This is Carth Onassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilisk escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. No, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. Program the damaged assault droid to help you if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith.
Only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the first part. Basil's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? I'm not surprised. You took a serious blow to the head. You're probably having all kinds of strange dreams. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. You were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived at the scene, they were You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. Bastila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Basil's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help, and we'll probably need hers. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. I don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. And we can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile.
Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. That's how we sit deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Jawana vota ayu at tahunga cha kanki dora kachi kuita hodonga topa da bungwa ya gando dona no chuchut muksha pa pampa bola wana chigne bamuli slemo boda wanga kumbes muli rara best. Now. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. You could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. Goodbye and good luck.
already. What? Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chu chut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. Yumalita kuto tun. Chila mulane ni du bobo. Wonga kumbis chang ba mulera. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Wanna kum. Chikun ida tong abong sham. Tag bis du bongo koki chan shak bulara umrao chis kaduchi. We tam boragatong mulira achuta. Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it, it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed them. I... I didn't. Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I... I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense, am I? You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Na praka donko tsercha chupa pankis.
Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kepler Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the mostly. The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff.